footballers in a public park in Hertfordshire. Light training was followed by light lunch at their hotel. It may only have been the full members' cup, but the players were enjoying the trappings of a final. Then a team which only weeks ago seemed to be heading for the third division was on the road to Wembley, and so were nearly 30,000 of their supporters. You don't recognise us? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm amazed even coming through the streets here, seeing boys walking around about in blue and white. Uh, I know there's certain London clubs playing blue and white, but not blue and white halves. And there's boys with blue and white shirts on, blue and white scarves on it. It's fantastic. <laughs> but they've come a long way. They made a big trip of it. And we've got to make a day to remember for everybody. Every footballer's dream was coming true for 11 players from the lower reaches of the second division. And fans they didn't know they had were there to cheer them on outnumbering the opposition almost three to one, it seemed. Well, it's the first time at Wembley. I've never been before. I know we said if I came to Wembley, it would be to sit Rovers. So, yeah. What about the support today? Fantastic, isn't it? It's really great. What about Charlton's support? Where are they? Where Can't are see they? any. Have they come down no. today? An hour before kick-off, the players chance to try out the famous turf. But unlike greater Wembley occasions, this was a family yeah. final. And for one Rovers player, good wishes from his young son. You all right? Join yourself. Good lads. And so the scene was set. For the first time in 27 years, Blackburn were at Wembley. Their opponents, First Division Charlton. Sadly, the match itself did little to improve the poor reputation of the full members' cup. But Blackburn opened strongly, and Simon Garner could have given them an early lead after a defensive mistake. But Rovers' finishing let them down. A David Mayle free kick found Scott Sellers in space, but he wasted it. Neither set of fans had much to cheer about, and in the second half, the first division side seemed to be getting on top. But goalkeeper Vince O'Keefe denied them several times with fine saves. One of them setting up a chance for Simon Garner. He ran three quarters of the length of the pitch, only to see a tame shot easily saved. But with five minutes left, Ian Miller's cross found recent signing Colin Hendry, who made no mistake to score the goal which won the cup for Blackburn. We've enjoyed it, we've enjoyed it, we'll have a good night tonight. Oh, the goal were a pearly. There was nothing wrong with that. Nicely taken. So I dream come true. 21 years of age. This is my ambition. Fulfilled that at 21. Greatest thing ever. We won. That's the only, that's the only thing that matters. We won. The fans are absolutely unbelievable here. Yeah. And uh, it's what they deserve. They've not been here for 27 years. And what a, what a great day it's been. Lovely. Brilliant. Can't ask for anything better.